Welcome to Brown's Rod and Custom, your home for street rods, muscle cars, and Volkswagen content. This is my dad, Big Ron. He's our body man and fabricator. This is my beautiful wife, Megan, our editor-in-chief and supporter. And this is me, Adam, the designer and mechanic for our projects. If you find our videos helpful, like and subscribe for more content. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Browns Ride and Custom. Happy Tuesday. Happy Election Day. If you haven't done it, go vote. It's important. Um, we don't go one way or the other here. Just it's important that you vote if you can do it. Um, so some things have happened. Uh, we got the Volkswagen thing up to Ken's Auto Service for the front end alignment. So it's there right now. Um, they seem to think it wouldn't be a big deal at all. So they uh, they think they can fix all those little things and get it to where it tracks straight down the road and all the things. Um, kind of cool, we pulled up and he looked at me and goes, well, you definitely made it on time. I pulled up right at 8.30. <laughs> and, uh, and then the other guy was like, is that a Volkswagen thing? I haven't seen one in 30 years. I was like, yeah, you want to buy it? Yeah. Um, but anyway, we are getting ready to paint the dash on the 57 Chef uh, Bel Air. So let me show you what we got in here and uh, walk you in. First off, telltale signs. There are signs. Like if we win the lottery, there will be signs. Uh, you can tell we're painting. Everything's out of the garage. Anyway, here's what we got. Fresh paper on the table because we don't want any contamination. All of this will get painted. This is going to get base coated on the back. Base coat, clear coat on the front. So that'll be a thing here in a minute. We got the car all plastic and uh, taped off and masked the best we can. We're not going to have a lot of overflow. Um, we've got our lights in here, which we'll have on and in the right direction here. But we're going to paint all this turquoise today, which is exciting. And then we have our glove box hinge hanging here on our cool ass rack that we got, guys. This thing's awesome. Get to where I don't knock things over, but this is very helpful. I did hook it here and I hooked it here so that it didn't spin. The problem we have is when we try to paint things, hanging them, they want to spin. So it's, and it's hard to get it right while it's spinning, right? So anyway, that seems pretty, uh, pretty good. So I think we're looking pretty good here, guys. We, uh, we're gonna be using our um, Black Widow spray guns today. Uh, we'll be doing the, um, what is it, the HTE and the HVLP. Um, and then we're going to be spraying Shopline Plus Tropical Turquoise. That's the everything we're using. Um, and I'll show you the color here in a little bit. We did buy a new mask. Guys, if you're gonna paint, buy a new mask or buy a mask that has the cartridges you can swap in and out so you don't die. We're using the Spectrum uh, cups that go with the Black Widow guns. We, we really like this, actually. You can get this whole kit for like, I think it's like 12 bucks or something. 30-piece um, refill kit, and then you get the starter kit that gives you everything. The actual cups, the, the lids, all of that. So, really, really excited to get this one done. Um, I did have Don order last night the new stainless trim that goes around here. So we'll have a new one of those to go along with everything else. When he ordered all the parts, I forgot that, that I had taken that off and his was dented up and pitted and a little rusty and just, you know, we don't need that. So yeah, boys, we're, uh, we're going to be rocking and rolling here in a minute. I am going to film this so you know, uh, the paint going on and, um, Again, we are painting it in our garage, right? This is uh, this is the setup. We do have, for those of you at home following along, we have a side door right here, which we put paint filters in, and we got two fans blowing out for exhausting out. Fresh air coming in, it's cracked open up top, the garage door, and then we got a little crack on the bottom of the door to allow fresh air in and we can exhaust out. We have all the cars backed away so we don't get overspray on them. And really, when you blow through those fans out the side, I mean, we're painting in here, you can barely tell we're painting. So 
really no overspray coming out anything stupid so it works pretty well um, we were going to do the paint booth but uh, as you can see the flags uh, yeah it's windy an inflatable paint booth in the in the wind we uh, figured that out it's uh, not fun that's what it was it looked like that when we painted the Volkswagen thing and it uh, was just a nightmare we had cinder blocks with straps and everything else trying to hold it down so we're painting it in here so odds are we will get some dust and contamination and some things uh, we plan to wet sand and buff the top of the dash uh, and the bottom of the dash the best we can if it needs it and we'll wet sand and buff this and that and this that's not a problem um, so we're going to do our best to not have to wet sand and buff but you know it is a garage and we do a lot of work in here so there there could be some stuff but we did blow it out really well so anyway guys i'm gonna shut up and uh when ron gets out here we're gonna get to it start putting some color down on this thing i'll bring that to you thanks for watching guys stay tuned get it all perfect the first time.
What do you guys think of tropical turquoise? Huh? I think it's a pretty cool color. I'm talking to the camera. Oh. Hey. What's this one stamp with goat? The little side for the glove box. Uh -huh. Need it. On the inside, Tim. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Pass me the hose. We're going to run it through it or under it? Through it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want to do the other stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. You want to shoot it under? Sure. Hold on. Ready? Yeah. Enough. Uh, a little more. There we go.
that's good for a first one, don't you? I like it. That's the first coat, guys. We're going to get out of here and let this sit. I'll bring you back for a second. Actually, we got more stuff. We got the tank going. Code number one. We're gonna get out of here for a minute. We'll be back. Looking good. Looking good. All right, all right, guys. So what we're getting ready to do is we're gonna spray on coat number two, uh, tropical turquoise base, and then uh, yeah. And then we'll let it sit for a while and then we'll do coat number three and then if we missed anything we'll hit it and then we'll give it about 45 minutes and then we'll start clearing so check it out guys hope you like it you're good man
better. Yeah, that's good. That's a pretty good one.
the back and the top up. Okay guys, that's the second coat. I'll be right out. That's our second coat of base. We got one more to go. But that one really covered well. Really, really, really good. So I'm very happy. This is looking good over here. Gauge cluster. Four box door. All of this is laying down great. Really happy with this, guys. I'm going to get out of this uh, fog and uh, let this dry for 15 minutes. Be back with you for code number three.
the correct player. Yes, yes. Oh, Pull the hose on this side.
cluster looking good got the end of the steering column piece horn button or whatever the hub the steering wheel we got the ashtray speaker grill for the top here's the glove box looking all beautiful so we are looking really good here guys I just wanted to give you a peek at this um, before we, I think we got about eight minutes and then we're gonna put down the second coat. And then we'll wait, I think 20 minutes and we'll do the third coat. So, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Brown's Rod and Custom. Wanted to give you a quick uh, wrap up update of kind of where we're at here. Um, start with the Volkswagen thing. Uh, we took it to Ken's today. Ken's Auto Center, Service Center, something like that. Um, he did a full alignment. The toe-in was out really bad. Uh, camber was bad. Um, he got everything aligned. It drives pretty good. Um, we, uh, he recommend, he said the front end's really tight, and he said, you know, that's kind of normal when you have new ball joints. Uh, all new suspension and everything. He said you just need to drive it more, loosen things up. And uh, so we'll probably be more, putting more miles on the car. Um, Car drove good. It, it was, you know, scary driving it there, but driving it home was a lot better. Um, since everything's so tight, you still have a little bit of that bump steer, um, but that should go away, apparently. So, um, dealing with that. Um, then we also, let me show you here. Put the windows in it because we were painting the, uh, painting the dash over here. And uh, this was outside. We threw the windows back in. Um, got a couple of rain showers and whatnot. But so Volkswagen thing tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna take the doors off, start sanding them down, try to get them painted. Hopefully tomorrow or the next day. Um, get that done. That's what's gonna happen here. We have everything to do it. Um, see how that goes. Um, we're only doing the outside of the doors and only because it's a shade off on the might be two shades of red off You can see it in this video right here. It's a camera angle So That's the Volkswagen thing. It's running good. No issues there. Just a matter of Need to drive it more get the doors the right color So on and so forth Now Don's 1957 Chevy Bel Air We got the dash painted uh, tropical turquoise it laid down slick guys I mean really really good really happy with it um, not going to wet sand or buff this it turned out like glass I don't know if you can see it but I mean it's slick so this is huge we are going to let this sit uh, tomorrow and the next day while we're working on the thing doors and just let this cure um, and then my job will be to 
go ahead and start putting it all back together, right? Get the wiring right, get everything kind of where it needs to be, and do all of that. Um, so that's what's going to be happening here over the next week or so, as far as this goes. I need to get all of these parts here um, back on the car. So speaker grill, I have a new 6x9 speaker that goes under this, so I can get that installed, get the speaker grill in it, everything to where all I got to do is literally plug in the speaker um, when we figure out what we're doing there. Ashtray, steering column back together, glove box, gauge cluster. Gauge cluster could take a little more time, mainly because I need to deal with the wiring behind it um, and the fuse panel and stuff, so that will begin to happen, but it, it, that's going to be the slow roll of this. Um, steering column, ready to go back in. Um, so that's going to be interesting here. Now, what's going to happen then, while I'm doing the dash and putting all this together, making everything work and the wiring and so on, Big Ron is going to be working on uh, getting all the fenders, hood, and all of that to um, get everything lined up, get the grill in this, get see if we're missing anything. That's really a big thing. Uh, get the bumper on it. Uh, get the headlights in it, get the block all plates in for the uh, air intake delete, air duct delete. There's like air tubes that go through the fenders that we don't have. And Don bought the delete kit. So it's a block all plate that goes on each side. And then there's one that goes on the back of the headlight housing um, so that it stays up and mounts in apparently. So long story short, you'll be seeing this front end go on and then we're going to take it all off and then we're going to paint the firewall turquoise okay that's going to be the next thing we got to make a block off plate for where the old heater unit used to be uh ac and heater unit um we got to make a block off there and get a um oh what would you call it the block that mounts in for the ac hoses where you got the four connections for the hoses we need to get one of those and basically make a plate uh, out of metal and then install that into it and then paint the firewall. Um, so that is coming here next week probably. I would imagine by the end of next week uh, or end of this week, what is today? Tuesday? I'd say by Sunday, Monday, we'll be probably looking at painting the firewall. Um, this should all bolt together pretty quick and adjust. It shouldn't be that terrible. Everything's new, should work, hopefully, you know, famous last words. But uh, that's the plan here. Um, this steering wheel will not be going back on it. This is the sway bar off the Volkswagen thing, as an extra one. Um, so we do have the new steering wheel, which you guys have seen. Um, I also need to get all of those garnish moldings in the trunk. Uh, cleaned up and ready for paint as well get those painted when we paint the firewall hopefully and just start generally Getting things where it needs to go. We're going to do the Raptor bed liner on the inside of the inner fenders um, And the inside of the fenders and then uh, Get them primed on the outside heavy primed so we can get them blocked down and ready for paint same with the hood so on so forth, right? So Lots of things to get painted and put together and taken apart and fitted and so on and so forth. But that's what's coming here in the next couple weeks. Um, so stay tuned for all that. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back on it. Uh, tomorrow will be thing doors. Um, you'll see those come off and get uh, sanded down and so on and so forth. And then um, we'll kind of go from there. Hopefully we'll get them painted and uh, repainted. Shouldn't take that long. And... Uh, you know, with any luck, it'll be the right color and uh, the right shade of red, and uh, we'll go from there. So, anyway, guys, hope you have a great night. Um, really appreciate all the support. Um, you know, you guys are just making a huge difference in our lives, and honestly, just the comments and and everything. You know, everybody's been very uplifting, uh, helpful. Um, you know, kind of liking what we're doing and. That, that's been really, really good uh, for us. So really appreciate you guys. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to, we will get this done. Um, it's really, really close, guys. It uh, The alignment was kind of that missing piece that it 
desperately needed to drive right and uh, now we have that so I think we're in a good spot so stay tuned thanks thanks again guys